We're going to take a look at the Saramonic SR-TM1 Directional Condenser Microphone. Saramonic sent me the SR-TR1 to take a look at. First, let's see what we get in the box. We have an XLR cable. It's kind of short for me because I run things long, but I think the idea is it's long enough where you connect it to your camera, which is how some people do that. Here's how you charge it. There's a micro USB input. You just plug it in here. You plug the other end into your computer and it takes a couple hours to charge up. Anyway, here's the uh, stand. I like this thing. It's uh, ma all made of metal except for the part you pop on. You can unscrew this end, which is kind of cool, and mount it to other type mounts, uh, light stand mounts, boom stand mounts, and even the little thing that I'm screwing on right here, the uh, hot shoe mount, uh, it, it's cool because it has a quarter inch at the bottom of where the uh, hot shoe slides in, which means you can basically mount it to anything, which is how I mounted it to my stand, as you'll see in a minute. And then uh, you just pop your microphone in there, and you just uh, unloosen this and decide where you're going to direct it, up or down. Now the Ceremonic mic itself, it has a nice foam wind cover that comes with it. That may seem like not a big deal. I've seen these things and sometimes they're really cheap and they don't fit and they fall apart when you pull them off. Let's set that aside. Okay, here's the mic itself. The build quality of this is pretty amazing and what I was, would expect for any type of higher end mic, there's the XLR input, and uh, it's pretty solid. I don't see anything plasticky or anything. Here's the on switch and the different switches that you can do when you turn it on. Uh, what happens is it turns blue to indicate it's on. If it's on phantom power, it actually turns green. Then here's your next switch. That's the um, 10 dB minus 10 dB. You have a uh, low frequency rumble switch, which will cut out HVAC, and then you have, again, the boost that I was uh, talking about earlier. You can turn these on in any order or have them all off however you want them. It really doesn't matter for whatever your needs. You just turn on the ones that you want to turn on. When phantom power is applied to this built-in battery, just isn't used or charged. It just shuts off, which is cool. And again, to turn it off, you just hold it down. I can't turn it off if I don't press it down for a second, and I like that because you can't turn the thing off by accident. You have to hold it down for a second or two for the unit to come on or off. Let's hear how this thing sounds. Might look a little weird. We have these uh, microphones and this gizmo here. What I've done is I've set these up. I have my Rode NTG3, and I have my Ceramonic sitting right next to that. They uh, may not look like it on the camera up here, but they are perfectly positioned at the exact distance from my mouth. It's probably about 12 inches, a little closer than I usually use it. And they are pointed directly in the exact same place. The Zoom H6, uh, the meters are perfectly the same. The uh, road is just a little under five. The Ceramonic, a little over five, that's to be expected. I mean, you, you, even if I hooked up two NTG3 microphones, I wouldn't be able to set the levels at the exact same thing and get the exact same levels. It's just kind of the way it goes. The reason why I did this is I wanted to see how they compare. Now, short story, I when I told Ceramonic I would look at this, I said, you know what? I don't like comparing things to really good equipment. For instance... Um, I take my NTG3, which I absolutely adore running into my Zoom H6, and I compare it to a lapel mic or a $200 mic, and they're just not going to compare. Well, this comparison is more for me than for you, because the thing I really like on the Ceramonic is I can take this thing and I can run phantom power to it, which is what I'm doing to both of these. Um, I can also... Uh, just plug it into just about anything because it doesn't need phantom power. It has a battery that lasts at a minimum, a minimum of 150 hours. If I unplug that XLR jack from that, uh, it doesn't care if I change from the 48 volt phantom power that I'm running this thing with and uh, 
turn that power off, it will switch to battery. That's really cool. If I happen to be in an environment where I don't have 48 volt phantom power to drive this microphone, the battery will do it. And for 150 minimum hours, this thing will run. That's awesome. Uh, the minute you plug in phantom power into that, it switches off the battery and so you're good. Anyway, more for me because if I can get this Ceramonic to sound even close to this Rode, uh, I'm pretty much going to use this. Sorry, Rode guys. Anyway, the story was I told Ceramonic that I wasn't going to do a comparison because I don't want to compare these things with each other. And now I am, so I'm sorry if this doesn't work out, Ceramonic people. Um, I didn't mean to lie, but I guess now I have. Anyway, we're going to test this, we're going to bring it in the editor, we're going to take a look at the sounds, and we're going to see how these two compare. And I am dearly hoping that this thing works, because I love uh, having on the Ceramonic the 6 dB boost, the uh, low-end frequency cutter, the uh, like all those little things where I talked about when I was unboxing it. I love having this. I'm not going to go out and try all these. I, uh, they either work or don't. If this thing works like this, I'm good. Anyway. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, don't forget to go sign up at Basic Filmmaker University. I got another course just on the cooker, just getting ready to be cooked and pulled out of the oven very soon. People who are enrolled into the university get a huge discount. Like last time it was like 50% off the course. This time it won't be so much because I'm bringing the courses down in price a lot and seeing if I can afford to do that. Anyway, go sign up over there. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We're gonna take a look at the Ceramonic, the Ceramonic SR, SRTM1 <laughs> directional condenser microphone. <laughs> All right. Ceramonic SRTM1 was sent to me by Ceramonic. Hence, Ceramonic, the company SM SRTM1. <laughs> Why can't I get this? It's an SRTM1.